Okay, guys, welcome to the next race of the 70 Star Division 1 League here. We've got Draws and Ouija facing off today. Two players who have quite a history in the shorter categories. Draws more in the 0 1 area than Ouija, but both of them, you know, have held 16 world record in the past. They are sitting pretty high up on the 70 leaderboard as well, though. Ouija with the 4806 or 4808 from a little while ago. It's about six months, and Draws a couple weeks ago. 48-24, he's doing a bit more 120 nowadays, but he is definitely in form right now, although he says he hasn't played in a few days, so we'll see how it all goes. I think there's quite a few things that are up in the air today, and we'll have to see how the runners handle it. I'm here today with Shantastic yet again, so how are you doing? Uh, I am real excited. We've got two, once again, absolute gargantuans of Mario 64 speedrunning. Uh, both known for, in their time, holding 16-star world records. But uh, both of them actually, with their own fantastic PBs and ventures into longer categories. And we're going to be seeing a little bit of 70-star action right here. Um, we did talk to the runners before the game, and they caught a whiff of the previous uh, Rock Chalk versus... Uh, the Rock Chalk versus Benji race. And uh, honestly... They thought that the, uh, the the face cam from Rock Chalk and uh, just the way that dog was jumping up and down and stealing the show, they felt like they just couldn't follow it up. They just did not want to follow that act, so they have opted not to go with face cams. Um, but uh, we're going to be seeing Ouija and Draws the way that they were meant to be shown. Pure gameplay, raw sauce, Amarek only. <laughs> and uh, we're... We're gonna be real. Uh, I, I have a feeling we're gonna be real impressed. We're gonna be real impressed with what we see as draws sleeping here in SSL. Yeah, you know maybe this is some some kind of BM. He's trying to tease the audience, thinking that we'll all fall asleep because there's no dog to watch. But that's not the case. This Mario is pretty fun too. But I have to say, yeah, both Frank of these runners are pretty sleeping awesome until dog. the run. It's also funny because, like, it's like the way his camera is set up is you wouldn't think the dog would be in the shot that much, but he's always like on the bed and by the window, so he just kind of goes in circles, you know, around around his uh, webcam. So it's pretty <laughs> pretty funny to watch. I would say no, Ross forgot to. Uh, no, it looks like we haven't started yet. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, we've done some interviews with the with a lot of these players and. I interviewed Rock Chalk the other day, and one thing I asked him was like, you know, what's kind of something that you would say to people who are watching, or like, why people should root for you? He's like, I don't really know. You know, I would just just say the dog, easy cop out, hey, probably easiest answer, 2019. <laughs> Having a little Mario. bit of a, uh, a little bit of struggle Mario. with. Uh, Insert hotkey for timer here. <laughs> um, certainly, uh, I know that the Japanese version of the game saves a little time over English, but uh, to, to be at eight seconds and Peach is already halfway through her monologue, probably a, your time to start a little bit late. Yeah. Looks like Luigi gonna remove that auto splitter. It's not the splitter's fault. Besides, but yeah, besides we're gonna do a lot. Okay. Yeah, team bad drawings. Let's go. So, the thing is, Ouija, apparently he just kind of rolled out of bed and he's just trying to get the game started here. So that's why we started a little bit late. Jaws, on the other hand, did seem a bit, he like, was kind of cutting it close time-wise, but he was here like at seven. It just that, you know, Ouija wasn't ready to go at that point. And also Jaws had also said that he hasn't played Mario in a little while, like over a week. So we'll see what he's got. And I also want to say Ouija has been experimenting with a new stick. It's called Prestige 64. Um, sponsor us, please, I guess. I don't really know. But he says like, it took him a while to get it to like, 
an acceptable spot to like use for speedrunning, but he really likes it after some tinkering. Just had to like kind of loosen up the inside and you know work on the angles and or whatever he had to do. So we'll kind of see if that has any effect on his gameplay here. Uh, speaking right now, of, yeah, speaking right. of sticks, uh, of course we're referring to the river sticks and other words that end in YX. Check out our new sponsor Onyx.tv. Uh, they do have a special program where if you use their app to download Golf Clash, uh, you can play and earn points that you can use for a potential free subscription to GSA as, oh, Ouija, missing that locket to skip. <laughs> I was wondering if, like, we just never turned on stream and we were watching, like, you know, draws a feed doubled over. Because, like, that's what happens when someone's stream goes down, you might just, like, reflect the other player. But no, Ouija barely missed that lock to skip. Draws is going to be in BOB about eight seconds before. And he's just going to be going for bomb from here. No island hop shenanigans. Only saves about five seconds. Uh, missing the bomb, though, it's going to be kind of... Oh, the Ooh, single jump, single and that's not, gonna not going to so work. So, Ouija can probably be about tied here as Jaws responds to the bomb. We'll see who grabs it first. Ouija, Ouija going to take the lead, yeah. Um, in the lead. So, missing Locky to skip as long as you don't ledge grab uh, does lose less time, significantly less time than missing yeah. Locky because uh, the re-grab takes a bit of time. It also depends, like, how efficiently you can re-grab the bomb and all that stuff. Draw is not too efficient there. He did backflip into the star, which is like a 0.1 time save that I think most people should do, but it's just kind of if you care enough to bother. But it's a bit faster than single jumping and ground pounding. Yeah. Uh, commentator's hyping this race up for some top level play. Meanwhile, Draw's predicting he's going to get a 54. Certainly uh, an interesting uh, contrast between. Ooh, Ouija missing the. That was a beautiful backup. So in order to do the uh, in order to do the shortcut, and Ouija gonna be paying for it with a 14-0. Ooh, and Draw's getting a 12.5. <laughs> Back to sync. Wow, Back that's pretty close. To perfect sync. And. Uh, yeah, uh, so basically, in order to get that shortcut in the slide, you have to be facing backwards by the time you leave uh, the, the place with like the arched roof. Once you reach out into the open, you have to be facing backwards so you can bump, like, bump up against the wall and then jump back over the edge. If you're not facing backward, you're not going to be able to make that shortcut. So it's a great backup movement from Legion. Yeah, for sure. Both of them going for Lomps and Ajit. A bit ambitious considering they both feel pretty garbo at the moment. But they've gotten the first few coins here. You have 20 when you ground pound the blue switch. And honestly, the blue jaw is skipping the kick there, which also is a bit faster. And this long jump method is kind of just more unique to him. It's not really better, but I guess it can be more comfortable. All right, so he is maybe a few frames ahead of Ouija here. It's pretty interesting that we're pretty much doing the same thing right now. Ouija maybe, maybe making up time with the side flip, but losing time getting the red coin. And yeah, Jaws could come out right under the, the moving block with eyes that I don't know it's, if it has a name. Uh, the, the, you mean the clock? No, like the little concrete. Oh, the coin, the sure. coin block. Oh, the moving block, the sliding block. Yeah, that, surely that has a name. Anyone know? Um, no, I don't know the name. But we'll see if. And don't call me Shirley. <laughs> um, so yeah. Uh, looks like a fairly, fairly decent. You know, good, good hundred coin coming out from both ways. Well, wow. um, none of them going for double jump Alice, so taking it a little bit safer here. Yeah, both these players actually known for double jump Alice, but not really going for it. Both these players also not unknown for their OG cannon lists. Uh, probably not going to see them go for that either. This is a marathon. We do going for yeah. the classic setup. Jaws missing texture. Seeing that, it makes him really happy when when that happens. Luigi saving the time, gonna be definitely ahead of his opponent here. Picking up a clean sock folder. 
Now, uh... Yeah, it looks like, uh, the place kind of sauntering through here. A couple mistakes here and there, and ooh, just we say that. Luigi misses that side flip. And draws manages to finish up here. Does do the texture setup re uh, the mulligan on texture setup and picks it up. So we're gonna be seeing Ouija go for the chipping off Womp's block. Womp, of course, a uh, concrete rights activist. There are sentient concrete beings, and uh, Womp really just wants to see them stop getting ground pounded. So he tries to squish Mario, knowing that he's going to get ground pounded, and winds up getting ground pounded. Uh, slightly self-defeating. I would say probably not the most politically effective strategy. He does want to reassess the methodology of how he goes about accumulating and curating power, because now Womp is history, and uh, the oppressive authoritarian Mario is uh, just collecting stars as usual. Wow. I really enjoyed that, by the way. I just want to say... Did not see that coming. So would you? Two thousand three oh forty one, or two million three thousand forty one says the moving bars are called bombs. <laughs> I feel like that that can't be real, but I don't know why it wouldn't be. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that we're not getting debated because someone on the internet with a name full of numbers told us that they're called bombs. So I am gonna believe you, and I'm gonna call them bombs from now on. I'm not even gonna look it up. To, to, to be perfectly honest. Okay. It sounds like I'm saying that ironically. I literally mean that. I'm not going to look it up and I'm going to call them bombs. And if you tell me there's something else and you cite sources, I'm not going to believe you. Okay. So, we've got uh, Ouija here trying to make up his previous time. Yeah. 12.5. What a good player. And Josh's probably going to get a 14 1 and give yeah. Ouija a 0.1 win. Oh 14. no! 14.0! Yeah, both these players <laughs> trading off their times. Sick. Uh, yeah. Who's who I, again? I, I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm. Sorry? I just said, who's who again? You yeah, like, for sure. You just keep mimicking each other. These uh, 16 star specialists clearly showing that their their skills are aligned. Luigi missing! Yeah, there's Luigi no red flying point. 16 star. But honestly, rain yeah. never easy, even if you're good at flying. See if Jaws can get these points. So not the best arcs. He's going really low on this one. Okay, that's a good arc. So, yeah, gonna save some time against Ouija there. If he can get a decent ending. Oh, death! He went for a oh, okay. fast ending where you would purposely fall on the top shelf of that battlement. So that when you fall down, you can do um, just a jump and roll out off of the switch. That did not happen. So, Jaws is actually gonna take a massive time loss here as we generate Dark World. Not doing Super Shima. He'll actually have to try to make. He can't make Shig. Can't make normal cycle. He <laughs> can't make the switch. He'll probably get normal cycle. Oh my god. He's trying to box roll out this too bad. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, this is actually. It's gonna be close on the normal cycle, but it looks like it's gonna make it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is really close to good missing normal cycle here. Going for a long term though, he's confident, but having not very much speed there, it's gonna be a punch. He has to kick here to save himself, so a very nerve wracking dark world for Luigi. He's probably been awake like 20 minutes. Alright, double first he's still, at least that must memory is good. I am not going into the pipe. Draw is trying to do some fancy shenanigans to catch up, but it's not actually gonna work out. He will still be able to make um actually I don't know if this is trigger normal, but he'll make a cycle and Oh no! Draws has to save this again! Wow, okay. At least yeah, he could Draws have could have gone for a very early normal cycle, but not quite able to. So that's gonna be a little bit of an L for Draws, but probably still coming out on top against Luigi here, who yeah, lost definitely considerably more time. Somehow yeah, that's still, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say somehow that's still 10:08 for like Luigi's Dark World exit, which kind of surprises me because I feel like they both made a, a couple decent mistakes here. 
Yeah, I think Draw saved a little bit of time because he was on a slight trick pace and, and wound up making the beginning of normal cycle while Luigi made a uh, closer to the end of normal. Um, chat asking if Tsukishima is the fastest cycle. Uh, it is not. In fact, there is a BLJ cycle that is faster, but um, only Aki can do that in RTA. <laughs> yeah, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Luigi picking up this uh, clean sky jump. So the Tears of Dark World cycles, uh, I'm joking, obviously. For RTA, the Tears of uh, Dark World fastest is uh, Tsukishima. Next one is Shia. And then we have Shiga, uh, Shig Cycle or Shigeru Cycle, which is uh, the most common one you see in races, typically. Yeah. And then Normal Cycle, basically, if you fail Shig. Um, usually, if a... Typically, like, a runner, especially a 16 runner or a 120 runner, oftentimes, if you see them get Normal Cycle, they'll often be set because it's the start of the run. Uh, but in marathons, you'll see it a little more. What we call normal cycle in the Bowser stages is actually usually just a bad cycle. I don't think there's any standard cycle, like, for a decent RTA level that is actually called normal. Like, for Fire City, normal cycle is if you completely miss Lava Beast and then early LEs after that. So it's not good either. Um, it's possible to get, um... If your movement's suboptimal, it's possible to nail pretty much everything and still miss the uh, still miss the Ferris, get the ledge grab on the Ferris, in which case you can still miss uh, Shake Cycle. So, um, normal cycle, you'll never see like top runners uh, typically settle for a normal cycle, but definitely once you reach like probably mid 50s, like low to mid 50s, sometimes you'll see runners miss, miss out on Shake and get that normal. Um, yeah, that's fair. Saying this as, saying this as a uh, self-allowed, mediocre Mario runner with a proud 102. Yeah, my beast starts on the mediocre, my friend. Just kidding. <laughs> nice finger check for draws. And the way that works is when you talk to the penguin, you can actually press the Z to drop the penguin at the same time. Oh, Ouija knocking into the chimney almost fell all the way down the mountain here. So... Not looking too solid on his feet. You know, it is summertime. Probably hasn't seen snow in quite a while. Although, you know, probably should have done a little bit better getting the chimney here. It's not going to be the end of the world. He's still pretty far ahead of Jaws because he died in wing cap. And it looks like both players going for CCM17 will be playing that uh, double pillarless. Unless one of these mad lads is going for H HMC late, or HMC early. Um, very unlikely, honestly. Luigi doing a side flip for his 100 point star. Yep. No penguin races here, which means we will see double plus on two extremely... Um, I don't know I would say rusty, but not in peak for Mario players, and they're probably going to be going for Tama Plus. So I think that could be a huge turning point if Ouija can get those, and Draws can. We'll have to see how that goes. BBH in the meantime, you can lose a few seconds, uh, but unless you actually fall off the balcony, not to curse it, you're not going to see any time losses of like over 10 seconds. At least at this level. For sure. Yeah, BBH. Um... I would say probably, like, I would say BBH is, is the most ubiquitously free level uh, of this run. Um, most other levels you, you will find at some stage of your of your journey as a Mario 64 runner, you're going to struggle with one level or the other, but uh, BBH is pretty consistently free, uh, unless you're, like, really starting out. And Luigi actually missing yeah. the final final hit onto Boo and have to jump down. Okay. Bit of fluff. Yeah. DD is usually not too bad. <laughs> okay. Luigi says he likes to admire the sky as it's just a disgusting like maroon haze. Yeah, Luigi. What, what color is it? I've never even paid attention to the sky in BBH. You no, know, it's just like a, a, a like a night. Sky. Um, actually, I think. Ooh, oh, no, draw is falling. 
Uh, yeah, actually, the sky, I would say, is a uh, very almost black. I would say it's an onyx color. And speaking of onyx, wow. type exclamation point onyx to be redirected to our sponsor, onyx.tv, uh, in case you forgot it in the last 15 minutes. And I, I did see a bunch of people saying that they wanted subs to be able to use our emotes, and the best way to get a sub without actually paying for a sub in the channel is Is paying for someone to gift it them. to you. Or play Golf Clash and earn up 500 points, and you'll get a free sub. Also, never mind. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm gonna get actually talk gonna... about the game for, for Pillarless, and Ouija missing Mibs. Ouija missing Mibs. You know, Ouija... His... Okay, let's see how the first time plus attempt goes. Big bomb, okay, check. Angle, check. Okay, this ain't bad at all. Okay, we actually gonna get in there and prove me wrong. So good stuff there. He is going for secrets, which means he's definitely gonna have to go for plus again. Let's about to head down there now. He is, eh, I don't know, maybe 45 seconds to a minute behind at this point. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Um, yeah, Draws, uh, really wanted, Draws really wanted a break, I think, uh, was getting a little fast. Ooh, missing Mips as well, shouldn't be chasing! Um, wow. definitely better. Thanks for getting how to catch a bunny. Yeah, uh, Draws especially with all that 16 experience, shouldn't have any problem picking up Mips going out of LOL, definitely. medium bomb plus. Wow, he'd be nailing this medium bomb. Yeah, looks like he's got it. So... In 70, the MIPS grab is arguably like a lot easier than it is in 16, which is like kind of funny considering like they both missed it. In Weedy's 16 run, like his PB was like 14 pace other than missing MIPS by like a lot. I'm losing a bunch of time there. And then I think a bad VLJ or something, but yeah, it was. In his else. current PB? Yeah, it's 15, 14, or whatever. Uh, the, so they, we be saying that um, Mips being so slow on English, English version ca caused them to like overshoot. That the is bunny. the most 16 problem I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Bunny's not going fast enough, dude. It, you know, it's too hard to catch. And he's going slow. Oh my goodness. We just sliding down. And, and a death draws? going under the pyramid. Um, not gonna get draws oh, no, running no. atop the pyramid here. Ouija gonna get buried underneath, um, like one of the aliens, not slaves that built the pyramids. And Jaws gonna get the gold that they actually buried with the pharaohs in the tomb, but actually <laughs> accidentally. So shining atop the pyramid is widely regarded as the easiest star in the game and uh, quite frankly trolling two of the best runners in the game right now. But uh, Draw's gonna finish up that second yeah. blue. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen anyone die on the pyramid star. Because that is supposed huh. to be like one of the easiest in the run. Yeah, but... I've I've certainly never seen anyone die on the pyramid star, and I've never died on the pyramid star myself, especially not in the last 48 hours or anything. Okay, gonna have to put that down on the record and kind of check back with you with my lawyers and see if you're lying under oath. Listen, every now and then, you think you don't have to do a jump, and you think you just run up into the star, and then you just run out of speed, and you slide down, and you have the wrong direction, so there's no way to stop yourself from, like, riding yourself up, and you do the rollout, and you fall into the darn quicksand. It's it's fine. Nothing nothing wrong with that. Nothing great. Even Ouija does it, okay? Can't argue with that one. True. Commentator digging himself out of the hole. Draws picking up these red coins super clean. So, we've got a few more stars left in basement, and I have to say this run has already gone pretty south for both these players, but here's the thing, like, if you thought you were playing against, like, Punk at his best, you'd, you'd think it's over, but it's not over for either of them right now. And the way things are going, there's probably a lot more spaghetti to come. Nice triple jump wing cap shot from Draws, that's 
uh, a good bit harder to do, but it's a nice time save. It always looks nice when you do the speed kick because you actually have way more speed when you start flying. And, you know, I just have a feeling something bad's gonna happen to Ouija. You know, no reason. Oh, there he goes. Oh, oh. Yes. <laughs> he died. No, come on. Jaws is like almost back in contention for this one. Like, yeah, you're seeing an even star count here, but the thing to note is that Ouija has the same number of stars but does not have nips. Yeah. Um, which Mips does is mean. It's gonna be easier. For... Yeah, Mips is gonna be less time than the star behind the Jaws is. Yeah. Uh, actually, Ouija, that's wrong because you said in the Discord something that made me wonder, and then I kind of caught wind of that, and then you died on my screen. So it's a time paradox. I don't know who's to blame for that. Uh, yeah, commentators directly talking to the competitors at this point. Um, certainly showing their bias. Very, very professional. Jaws not even watching the run. I feel Draz, like he probably doesn't realize. Jaws getting cool involved in the conversation. Um, I mean, still getting lava boost is, is Ouija out here. So uh, like, it seems like some things are just like so ingrained in their muscle memory that nothing will ever stop them from doing it. But everything else is literally up in the air and who's to say how it's gonna end up. Uh, chat, uh, chat now accusing commentators of a cover-up, that there is a script, um, script. Yeah, the commentator gonna refer them to, uh, the GSA legal team, uh, guys, download Golf Clash through the Onyx app, uh, support speedruns so that we can pay our legal fees, certainly gonna need them after the scandal that is growing here, uh, we are on quite a retainer. Our, our lawyers fortunately accept bits, so they, 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 they are operating on a 1500 bits retainer, so do help us. Alright, so Jaws finishing up Lethal Love Land with a 2239, and he's gonna be like, okay, they should be synced up once they touch this door. So, Luigi coming through at a 2249, Jaws like three seconds behind. So, um, for sure. we'll have to see what happens now, because I honestly have no idea. And honestly, this is the kind of race that you just got to take it for what it is and enjoy it. Because, like, this is the, their first race of the season, and it could very well turn out to be their worst. But since it's happening to both of them, anything can happen at any given time. So you just got to be on your toes. Like, they could both just get eaten by a shark. Uh, the shark won't eat you actually, but you can die in the whirlpool here, and then you can also miss chests and lose time. A lot of things uh, that yeah. wouldn't normally happen that, you know, are on the table. Are we actually getting all the chests here? Draws going behind Ooh. the chest, um, yeah. a little close to the whirlpool. You actually have to be like kind of in it to actually die, but it does yeah, actually pull you in. Like, yeah, if you haven't played the game, it kind of makes it hard to swim away from when you get close to it. It kind of actually does have that kind of like tractor beam effect. But you can swim out of it pretty easily, it just loses some time. We'll see if they go for fun sub as well. I would say that's one of the things where they probably still do have good muscle memory for, and we just can yeah. go for it here. Oh, it looks like Draws might be going for back sub. Uh, it looks like he doesn't change his direction, looks like fun sub, yeah. Yep, front sub. Um, yeah, both these both these runners obviously are short form category runners. Um, if you had asked me before the star, I would have I would have placed most of my money on both of them going for front sub. They're so seasoned with it. Right side to boot. I think Jaws gonna do the same thing. Yes, he is, and he's gonna hit it. Oh my god, these guys are legends, absolute gods. Don't worry wow. about the first twenty minutes, the tw first twenty two minutes strictly of this run. These guys are Mario sixty four legends. Legend. Uh, when side sub? Uh, around the same time as Carpetless. Uh, yeah. Side sub is like actually a good mean strat though, because it's a little bit faster than back sub, even though it's about as hard as front sub. Yeah, but it doesn't save as much time as Carpetless. That's true, and that I I can't even argue with that because what 
what would even save 50 seconds and 70 star that we don't already do? Because not a single star is longer than 50 seconds. You literally have to make it 69 star, which should be hype. But uh, yeah, that wouldn't be 70 star anymore. Anyway. That is true. So we're Let's heading. See if they can get lovers. Luigi going for an old fire sea. What is this? One of the wow. other people is still doing this. Jaws is going to show the, the 2019 movement here. Luigi's still on pace for Lava Boost, and Jaws is going to be right behind him, though. They are neck and neck right now. So missing these elevators could mean everything. Luigi up here pretty early, in fact. I'm actually shocked at how smoothly he managed to take down this fire seed. Draws getting it as well. And we're going to have to see how this ending goes. With the two wall kicks here, you got to be careful on that rollout so you don't actually go in the lava and die, which can happen very easily. But Draws missing a red coin was not very aware of his horizontal spacing. He's going to take a burn here. Yeah, Luigi's going to go a little sad. bit in the lead. Yeah, that's going to be yeah, a tough scary. one for Draws. Oh, Draws! Oh, okay. Not the worst. But far from the best, you know, one thing leads to another, and Luigi is able to extend his lead just a little bit. Yeah, true. Uh, very interesting to see Luigi resort to that older movement. Uh, Luigi, it's interesting because Luigi is one of the uh, youngest world record holders in Super Mario 64 history, but playing this fire is like a total boomer, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> But meanwhile, we got Draws coming here into this Bowser fight. Gonna be just a little bit behind his opponent. Looks like not gonna be looking for any mistakes here. Nice three-quarter spin. Three-quarter spin. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna see Luigi enter here and quit out. It is faster than running all the way back up to the ground floor. I mean, I can't argue with, like, if you can actually do the old fire C that effectively, I guess you might as well. Although I feel like with a bit of practice, the new movement has just been a better return on investment for everybody who's actually, like, yeah. putting some time. We'll see how this hundred yeah. goes. The thing about the new movement is it, it pretty much saves exactly the amount of time that it saves because you are, with either one, you're typically making the lava boost. Um, the only big benefit is you can make slightly more mistakes and still make the lava boost cycle. Ooh, we can miss a ground pound here. And uh, looks like the draw is going here for the double box break. Already missing a coin. We can even get some mediocre RNG on the speeder. Yeah, both of them already down their spares, so they're gonna have to get every coin from these 10 coin boxes. We do not think the secret that's kind of a trigger in the heat hoe. Kind of getting a bit too close for comfort there. Yeah, I got some bad RNG out of that speeder, did draws, and, and now he had to get he had to go out of his way to pick up the backup, so. Must have thought Luigi was a juicy looking Heisenberger or something like that. But you know, proven wrong, Luigi getting out of there. This is an okay hundred coin. Not oh, very draws. smooth. Yeah, I like to say draws having some issues as well. This is probably a story that they haven't done in a couple weeks because draws has also been doing 120 and you're going to do a different 100 coin in that category. You do it with reds. And I, if I had to guess, it's just a very rusty start for both of them. Uh, yeah, draws. Uh... Draws, I guess, interesting because oh no, dropping that coin off <laughs> the edge, that Chakya RNG, absolutely devastating, and gonna have to wait. He didn't. He, he hit the switch. He hit the switch. Oh my god, he has to run. Otherwise, he's gonna oh, lose wow. some serious time. Nope, that's he's it. Have to swing. Oh my gosh, I didn't. I did not see that one coming. You know, we're just doing a casual uh, double jump here onto the ramp. Oh goodness, Draws. Swimming strats OP. Well, um, Draws can save all this time. Oh, actually, we do lose some time. Draws can save it all with his double jump kick um, to the angled slope here. Yay! It all is worth it. Oh, he missed the choke jump wall kick. Too bad. That, that would have been a nice time save for him. But oh, this is gonna be bad. Getting some oh, live and breaking this coin box. Yeah. He's gonna have to really delay these wall kicks. Yeah, like, the, the coin box does delay. Okay. Actually, it wasn't as laggy as it could have been. 
because uh, the coins spread out play. really nice. I think it's the concentration of coins when they all gather on the same spots when they're sharing yeah. pixels. I think that's what causes the frame lag. So when they spread out nice and even, the, the frame lag tends to get really even. It could be. I'm not too sure about that, but I would be, I would give that a plausible on Mario Mythbusters. Yeah, and Josh sure. is not having a good time with these triple jump wall kicks. And I think, you know, despite Ouija's woes here in the wet dry world, he's still been able to clean himself off to a little bit extra of, of I don't even know what I'm saying. He's got, a big, he's got a bigger cushion than he had going in. So, like, 30 seconds ahead now. Yeah, so Ouija has a healthy lead, of course. This is certainly not tippy proof, and it is not Bowser Throws proof. So we have plenty of run to go, folks. Do not go anywhere. This is far from the blowout. I was going to be finishing up here with this shocking arrow lifts. Not so shocking at all because we, we dodged the arrow lifts all together. They were just like, hey, here's a free teleport because this is a pretty tough star. And if you find this Easter egg, well, you deserve it. Wow. Ooh, we're actually having a little bit of trouble. Draw, draws for some U UWR THI entry right there. That didn't work out. Yeah, honestly, we're seeing a little bit of NA aim here in this THI, and uh, draws no exception to that. <laughs> I thought he was gonna try to like jump up there and long jump, but he's kind of. I don't even know what's going on. This is looking pretty dangerous. Yeah. All right, does manage to hit the the little uh, mountain clip, so all that Fortnite has been helping his aim a little bit. I mean, I guess so. Speaking of which. So I was trying to get, uh, trying to get as good a time as possible. As is Ouija. Meanwhile, we got Draws here going for the top of THI and Ouija going straight for those, uh, those Piranha Plants. Yep. Ooh, Draws actually not able to get the time safe off of that mountain clip. He's lucky not to be sliding down here. And Luigi gonna be cleaning up tiny huge island here. And Draw is gonna be going back in for the piranha plants. We have still one star lead for Ouija. Luigi gonna be going for the second hardest star in the game right now. Yeah, second hardest star and the third easiest stage. You know, BBH, he said the easiest. Maybe DD second easiest. TTM. Free. Nothing ever happens here. Yeah, nothing nothing ever goes wrong in TTM. Alright, Jaws having some issues with the Pranas. Missing a second one. He's gonna fall! Okay, no. <laughs> if you All fall, right. it's really, really bad. <laughs> you get... Not that this isn't even bad. Not that this isn't bad, <laughs> as it is, but it's really, really bad here. Jaws kind of feeling... Oh man, we do with the first D on the back of Walker. He's gonna take a dive. This is gonna be quite a struggle if this is only the beginning of the mountain climb for Ouija here. All right, getting at the second time, and Draw is having some trouble getting out of THI. I thought he would just be ready to be done there, but apparently he wants to linger and have a couple ground pounds. So this is. Yeah, probably not what they had hoped for. We'll see if anything they can do in the end game will redeem it, or if, you know, it's just gonna kind of look like this for the rest of the run, and if it keeps going this way, draws isn't out of it. Because I've said that the whole time. And Ouija, look at this! He's not doing the quick turn right, and he's missed the breeze backup, so... He, that Ooh. doesn't work, by the way. I don't think you can roll out into the, into the star that way. If you can, then... Tell me, because I tried that once and didn't even seem close to possible. So yeah, Ouija and Draws just taking it back and forth. You know, whatever you can mess up, I can mess up bigger. Is kind of the the one-upmanship. Any trick you can blow, I can blow better. Was this Mario Disney? Um, yeah, let's go with that. 
I can blow any trick better than you. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, we got a little uh, bit of a missing of the star from uh, some draws coming out. But Luigi cleaning up here the red coins. Luigi, uh, Luigi telling us what he wants, what he really, really wants. And it is to get out, it is to get out of TTM, I would assume, at this particular moment in time. And Draw is going to be going for, ooh, a cutesy little mushroom that is more slightly risky. All right. Uh, yeah, technically he's ending a true gun. I didn't want to make the distinction between musical theater and Disney as it gets a little bit into uh, my particular thing. Draws cleaning up these reds. Luigi going to be blasting to a lonely mushroom and then instead bonking against the lonely sign. Signs percent uh, a little bit closer to completion, but not really. Here we go. All right. Yeah, this, I feel like this whole time I'm just like watching a meltdown happen and I'm like, all right, just just on with the game, you know, we're back back to status quo. And then it happens like 30 seconds later and we're just kind of going around and around until someone finally wins just or loses less. So we've got some uh, Mario 64 fans here in the chat. Uh, and speaking of things that are fake, uh, potentially like inaccurate and potentially offensive caricatures of Italians and Italian culture, enjoy yourself a nice meal at the Olive Garden. Um, certainly not fishing for a sponsor or anything, but uh, try their bottomless fat breadsticks, the garden toss salad. How about Onyx Golf Garden Clash Warfare? For sure. Yeah, do a do an onyx check-in from the Olive Garden. Uh, see if we can get you some points. I can't say I can't say for sure that you won't get points, but I can't say that you will. So give it a try. Do an onyx check-in. Uh, be in the garden. Tag uh, tag the Global Speedrun Association in your picture of, of your breadsticks. Free subs with your breadsticks. Uh, he said with it, not me. Uh, just gonna point that out for our lawyers. Uh, Badrona said it. I am neutral in this conflict. Yeah, I signed an NDA to to not say anything, so I might be in trouble. Yeah, un unfortunately, um, I'm just gonna throw his cocom under the bus. Cannot like divulge the details. But I love Vinny. Uh, Draw said that, not me. Everyone likes Mario. And, uh, yeah, Luigi chilling with the bully, but not gonna be chilling much longer, because gonna be headed into the Hazy Maze Cave. Yeah, if you don't get a free sub for, uh, for, for at least three baskets of bottomless breadsticks, if you don't get a free sub, um, send your feedback to the official Olive Garden feedback email. Did you know that Hazy Maze Cave is actually just an ant farm in a bottle of olive oil? Oh no, he missed another one! And this one he can't actually... He has to pick up the... Ooh, that was a beautiful backup. Uh, yeah, that was Very solid. devastating. Yeah, but uh, definitely devastating to miss this mix because it, it kind of defeats the whole purpose of this route. It's a bit of a, a fatality on the inside. For sure. Forehead. Kappa. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, for you. Well, I'm... Nice quake sound effects there. Unfortunately, commentator not quite able to get the... Kill. Kill. <laughs> Which would be... <laughs> <laughs> Is that one of them? Holy! Luigi's <laughs> <Huh? laughs> trying to back up this triple box jump. Not going too well, but gonna be able to get it. Here we go. And, uh... Dross here picking up this Todd Star. The Echoes actually would have been super effective because we're in Hazy Maze Cave. And That's it's true. a very open... In the, yeah. the Echoing Cavern. 
with boomers like Elite Moral Minority in chat? As you know, the main voice of stream monstering. The, it's very interesting because the sound effects have Mario going and you can hear the echo. But okay. don't you need a ceiling, strictly speaking, to echo? Otherwise, it's just a kind of like open area and there's no ceilings in HMC. So how do you get the echo from like a physical harmonic motion perspective? I, it's very interesting. I'd like to actually hear from some physicists in chat. I'm sure there are some. Uh, I'm sure we're a very nerdy community. I mean, if we're trying to make SM64 the musical, like shouldn't that kind of kind of be your thing to worry about the acoustics? For sure. I will consult with my music tech friends. By the way, Draws did just save and quit. Yeah. Um, and this is a bad yes, place to do it as well. The absolute worst place to do it, like objectively the worst place to do it, is in uh, Hazy Maze Cave. Let's see, I, I sent best in queue, don't I? Yeah. Human clicking. <laughs> So uh, all right. we're going to see draws go all the way make one trek back. But once again, all runs must tippy. That's true. You know, you can do some nice lag reductions to go in that door that draws entered. When you go through it normally, it seems like the game goes to like half speed for a second there. Draws missing the switch as well. Not really getting any consolation for the save and quit mistake. And not a good yeah. ground pound there. Jaws says he's gonna put on his Sonic big. shoes. So I think we're gonna look to see Mario's brown shoes get a little bit bigger and brighter. Yeah, Draws and Luigi actually having a bit of a showdown. Uh, Draws saying, I found you, Faker! And, uh, well, you can fill in the rest. I'm not, I don't really, I don't, I, I don't get any Sonic references, I'm sorry. Faker. I think you're the fake hedgehog around here. You're comparing yourself to me? Can someone please mute my co -co You're not even field. good enough to be my fake. Alright, I'm going for and triangles so first, not even lap two bounds. So pretty interesting that this is like the biggest uh, suspect on the dock for Ouija here. And maybe for good reason, not able to get the rollout onto the first triangle here. And he might even be shot for time to get oh, no. the triangle spade. This is really bad. Can he get over it? Trying to do it back up, but he's gonna die. Oh, he landed on the oh, green ledge. That actually saved him, I think. There's no way. Goodness. Yeah, that's I, incredible. I couldn't even write a better script. Meanwhile, draws uh, finishing up rolling rocks. And speaking of rocks that I roll, I need to put that. Uh, yeah. Uh, speaking of rocks that roll. Um, check out Onyx, our sponsor. Download Golf Clash, earn free points for a sub. Luigi here cleaning up, swinging in the breeze. Yeah, Draw's finally making it up here. Here we go! And Draw's getting the clean triple jump dive here. Has Ouija done lock two bounce yet? I don't think so. No, yeah, he, he only did triangles and breeze. So we'll see what side he goes for. Going for reds, he's actually saving cruiser for last. I wonder if he thought he did cruiser, but he didn't. Because like usually cruiser's like the first one. Alright. Um, not the best reds, but I can appreciate the effort. Draws does get his cruiser star, so that's at least one thing that's gone right that Ouija hasn't done yet. And you can definitely die on cruiser, it's one of the easiest stars to die on. Meanwhile, you know, Elite trying to use the OMG Scoots emote in chat, uh, not helping the case against, uh, not helping the case for him not being a boomer. Ouija for right, sliding nice off! Draws. Yeah, the back of the reds. Well, he can't do reds. He's already done it. That's the oh, point. right. He's gonna have to do new cruiser. Boomer I didn't even realize he's done reds. Boomer cruiser. Boomer cruiser. <laughs> um, and don't at me. New cruiser is harder than lucky to bounce. Case in point. That's technically not new cruiser. New cruiser doesn't do that long jump, but that's like. Still a pretty tough long jump if you do it. And Luigi acknowledging Jaws dying! Oh my goodness. Oh man. It's going 
any which way you could imagine. Yeah, this is the this is nutty. Um. I, I'm assuming he died on the Chokujo Mole Kick. Okay, interesting. Oh, yeah, goodness. neither of them uh, handling those triangles very well. Those and triangles are tricky. No, uh, I wasn't even going to invoke the name. I was not invoking the name. You did it, not me. Well. Commentators throwing each other under the bus repeatedly. Um, honestly, uh, Draw is doing the rollout. Hold on. Very he's actually interesting. Trying to, he's actually trying to swag out on this Makes one. Makes it. Might do a triple jump here. Okay. I don't think it worked properly, but still, appreciate the effort there from Draw's. No, no longer Draw's Dowski to get that, that rollout shot. It's really hard to actually get to that lower slab to walk on because the rollout barely gets you enough distance and we're gonna see draws uh, much more standard go for ttc 100 first uh gonna see how this goes if you can make it through here without losing any major time as i say that um to this first kicks in yeah we'll have to uh, see we just doing these time moving stars as well but he's yet to do ttc 100 which is definitely the big shadow here and if anything is going to ruin the rest of this run it's going to be ttc 100 because despite all these mistakes, we just still in winning position. Meanwhile, well, Draw is having a... Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Every time I try pass. to say Draw is having a clean... Uh... You see, it happened again. All I was saying was the word clean, and Draw's made a mistake. Commentator's curse coming out in droves, and meanwhile, we keep going... Oh, no, forward. he's gonna fall. Oh, that would happen there, a fake lens grab on the green block and that's a huge fall Five that is a huge three seconds fall. lost here and going right between two safe patches of ground just not giving any no mercy shown by tiktok clock oh not not doing the fast uh the fast uh recovery here yeah okay he's going oh for demon ever movement he's still able to land oh, on actually... a little bit of safe ground at the very least but i mean i don't know if it's really worth at this point. I mean, I know he's just trying to do some cool strats, but this race is not over. He can still win it, but not if he keeps doing this kind of stuff. For sure. Um, and Ouija still has to do the star, so... Yeah. And, you know, Ouija's CTC hasn't been bad, but just kind of like you saw there on Time Jumps on Moving Bars, it's been a little bit scuffed. And, you know, Pendulum's not the best. Um... I didn't really pay attention to the other two stars, but there's definitely some some cracks here in TTC. I mean, just as the rest of the run has been. But taking this star for last might be a little bit of more mental pressure. Well, I can say that his stars are flawless. As I have not, I have not missed a beat this entire race. I am aware of every single action that either of these runners has performed since they started this run okay. 48 minutes. Luigi, oh, missing the star roll and roll into the cage. Luigi, off to actually a good start here, but this Very is where Draw is halted. Oh, okay. falls down a little Too bit. Fast. The thing is, if you get a firsty there, you're not, your timing to side clip is thrown off completely. So I think that's what happened to him. That was a beautiful yaw into a double jump. Um, he managed to change Mario's direction in between his side clip and his double jump. Allowing him to get the double jump block kick and save him a little bit of time there. Draws meanwhile hitting the pendulums nice and clean. Ouija getting good RNG. Yep. And this is still 51 pace for young Ouija. So we'll see how he can. Hey, going for some fast ending movement, but not gonna happen. Making the side flip cycle on the flump though is at least not the worst thing. This is a mid one, this is a mid 51 potential run. And with all that's happened, I can't even believe it's not like a 53. Yeah, Luigi on a very decent pace. Of course, Luigi having rocking a, a low 48 PB of 48.08, if I'm not mistaken. 
So definitely making up for it. This is what we're talking about. Uh, these guys have made a lot of mistakes. And you might think, you know, uh, the, the joke is like, haha, Div 1. But like, she's got a 50 today with a lot of mistakes, four deaths. Ooh, draws take really struggling here with uh, time jumps on moving bars. And the reason these guys are able to get 50s and 51s with so many mistake riddle runs is that tricks save seconds, movement saves minutes. Hey man, Draws so gonna do this cool backup here. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Draws eager to contradict everything that the commentators say. Um, living proof that the, this run is indeed live. And he missed the right side. Ball kick. Yeah. Alright, it looks like at this point Luigi is going to take a W, but points are still very much on the table for Jaws. And the Fair way enough. that the points work this season is kind of like oh, last year. But there's more points to lose here. You know, you have up to five minutes to lose points, and. You know, since it's guaranteed you're gonna get points of some sort, every every mistake matters. We're gonna go for standing left side, and the more he misses Chubba oh, Double Kick, the more Drozdowski has to against... catch up. And if Ouija falls again, he will die, and Draws will be right back in it. You should probably go for some comfy pull strats to try to get these points. Oh, uh, yeah, there is a heart scary. there. 2 HP is very, very scary. Oh, you can no. get the heart. Okay, Ouija, you're playing with fire! Okay, gets it. Not gonna get burned. And gets the extra, um, gets, gets a little coin there, so if he runs into yeah. Goomba on the way forward, he, he's or not runs gonna into die. Bowser. Uh, fortunately, if he gets hit by fire, then he will die. Draws in sky as Ouija exits. So, Ouija can miss... If, if Dross has a good uh, sky, we can miss about three or four throws. Uh, I'd say three throws, most likely. The fourth throw might be where things get a little scary. That's where things start to come down to how quickly you're, you're, uh, you're spinning. If he gets two throws down, I and mean, a very good throw. Crazy. Very, very, very good throws. And Dross having a pretty good sky at the same time. So, like, oh, the triple jump on the supporting pull is pretty spicy there yeah very and, cool and like that's how a good sky looks if you were interested that was pretty sick i mean that's really nutty dross was starting sky as Ouija was entering throws and dross is into battle into the pipe before Ouija even grabs his star um that's really 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 good movement from dross yeah uh, so, yeah, Draw's gonna be going into throws. Unfortunately, we're not gonna have time to, for interviews. Gonna be going straight into the next race. Oh, Draw's missing a throw. Those are almost some legendary one spins as well. But not gonna quite get it. And I don't think we're gonna get any interviews today since we've got some more races to get right into. For sure. And Draw's gonna be finishing up with a uh, around a 53, 26, I would guess, maybe a 27. Oh no! Uh, either way, it is under a minute, within a minute of Luigi, so <laughs> gonna be getting the same points regardless. But yeah. anyway, that is gonna do it for me. But I believe that Ronis is sticking around, right, for the next race. Yep, I'm gonna do the next one. Right. I'll try to. It up for a second. It's gonna be para versus D, whatever. Though. This is gonna be pretty oh my hot. Goodness. Absolute gargantuan. Yeah, dude. Para, you know, more in 120, but uh, at the same time, a really, really good player. So I would definitely stick around for the next one. For sure. Do not go anywhere. Do not touch that dial. Uh, it has been a pleasure commentating with you, and it's been a pleasure commentating for you all for three races. Have a great night and enjoy these runs. I'll see y'all in. Okay.